Minerals are essential raw materials in our daily lives and are vital for economic, social and technological development. The modern world is moving towards a zero-carbon energy future energy system powered by clean energy technologies. In this rapidly changing landscape, countries around the world are making efforts to create secure supply chains for wide range of critical minerals central to clean energy technologies. Critical minerals are those minerals which are essential for economic development and national security. The lack of availability of these minerals or even concentration of existence, extraction or processing of these minerals in few geographical locations may lead to supply chain vulnerability and disruption. Countries, including India, have set a target to work towards a carbon-free world. India has set a target for 2070 to be net zero. पंचा मृत की सौगात देना चाहता हूं पहला भारत 2030 तक अपनी नॉन फोसिल एनर्जी कैपेसिटी को 500 गीगावॉट तक पहुंचाएगा दूसरा भारत 2030 तक अपनी 50% एनर्जी रिक्वायरमेंट्स रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी से पूरी करेगा तीसरा भारत अब से लेकर 2030 तक के कुल प्रोजेक्टेड कार्बन एमिशन में एक बिलियन टन की कमी करेगा। चौथा 2030 तक भारत अपनी अर्थव्यवस्था की कार्बन इंटेंसिटी को 45 परसेंट से भी कम करेगा। और पांचवा वर्ष 2070 तक Critical minerals will play an important role in the goals set up by the Honorable Prime Minister. The Indian economy has undergone a transformative process of new age reforms in the last decade. The central government is trying to build the foundation upon which India can thrive in the 21st century. An important step in this direction is the efforts to create resilient and diversified mineral supply chains. For this, it is essential that India identify the minerals which are economically important but in short supply in the country. The world's biggest economies such as the US, the UK, Japan, and Australia all have identified their list of critical minerals. The US has a list of 50 minerals, UK has a list of 18 minerals, Japan has 31 minerals, while Australia has 26. Minerals like cobalt, graphite, lithium, PG, nickel, gallium, niobium, etc. are needed for green energy technologies. Whereas there are other minerals, like potash and phosphate, which are critical to India being an agrarian economy. In order to identify the list of critical minerals for India, a committee was constituted by the Ministry of Mines with the order dated, the 1st of November 2022. Identification of critical minerals will help the country to plan for the acquisition and processing of such mineral assets taking into account the long-term needs of the country. For most of the countries, criticality is judged by two main parameters, economic importance and supply risk. In Indian context also, the same two parameters were taken into consideration. The committee after a series of deliberations decided to make a three-stage assessment in order to arrive at the set of minerals critical to the country. In the first stage a study of the critical mineral strategies of various countries was carried out. The second stage involved an inter-ministerial consultation with different line ministries and in the third stage discussions were held with think tanks like International Energy Agency and Centre for Social and Economic Progress. In addition, the balance resource and reserve positions for each element, the import dependency, and elements of strategic interest were also taken into consideration to arrive at a set of critical minerals. The committee identified the final set of 30 minerals critical to India. These are antimony, beryllium, bismuth, cobalt, copper, gallium, germanium, graphite, Hafnium, Indium, Lithium, Molybdenum, Niobium, Nickel, PG, Phosphorus, Potash, 
Rare Earth Elements Rhenium Silicon Strontium Tantalum Tellurium Tin Titanium Tungsten Vanadium Zircon Selenium Cadmium the identification of the critical minerals will help us to make our supply chain for these mineral commodities more diverse, transparent, responsible and resilient. This will ensure that, in the decades to come, the minerals for which the country has favorable geological setting, can be explored, extracted and processed in most scientific ways. For the other minerals, we can pursue bilateral and multilateral cooperation with friendly countries to secure critical mineral value chains. And, in doing that, India can position itself at the forefront of the green industrial revolution, create more opportunities for our people, all while showing international leadership and meeting the commitments on energy transition.